Hi, it's Brother Preacher. I just want to uh, make a short video here um, just explaining to you the Bible way to heaven. Most people today teach the gospel of religion, which is another gospel. They'll tell you, go to church, you know, get baptized, be a good person, turn from your sins. But that's not good news, my friend. That's not the gospel. I want to tell you the gospel of grace. The gospel of grace is that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and rose on the third day for our justification. Paul says this is the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. And verse 3, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. So the nanosecond, my friend, you believe the gospel. The Bible says you are justified, sanctified. In 1 Corinthians 1, he says, God has become unto us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. In Ephesians 1.13, the Bible says, In whom you also trusted, after you heard the word of truth, the, the gospel of your salvation, in whom you also believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So the moment you believe the gospel, my friend, you're justified, meaning you become a child of God and a co-heir of Jesus Christ, and you're made the righteousness of God in Christ, and you have received the inheritance and all spiritual blessings, the nanosecond you believe the gospel. And all your sins, my friend, are forgiven. The Bible says in Romans chapter 4, uh, verse 6 to 8, Even as David also described blessedness of the man whom God imputed righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are those whose iniquities are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whom the Lord will not impute sin. My friend, the Lord took your sin and died for it. And, all, and if you believe what he did on that cross, you receive his righteousness, my friend. And Romans chapter 4 uh, verse 24, uh, 25, it says, But for us also whom it shall be imputed if we believe on him who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. So my friend, the nanosecond you believe the good news that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried and rose again, you have received everlasting life. You receive his righteousness. You're sanctified. You're one spirit with the Lord. And you receive all spiritual blessings, my friend. And all your sins, past sins, present sins, future sins are forgiven, washed. Ain't that good news, my friend? That by simple faith in the gospel, you're a child of God. Amen. And all your sins are forgiven. You're heaven bound, raptured ready. The nanosecond you believe the good news, the gospel. Amen. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless.